In this video, I will demonstrate with an ACI the automation of common tasks using the REST API for connectivity between Server 1 and Server 2. Let's have a look at the topology. For this demonstration, we have a spine leaf architecture with two servers, each server in its own EPG, both servers leveraging the same broadcast domain and the same private network or VRF. To demonstrate the benefit of automation within ACI using the REST API calls, in the first portion of this demonstration, I will be using a stopwatch to time how long it takes me to configure basic connectivity via the ACI GUI. The second part of this de demonstration will show the exact configuration steps. However, rather than using the GUI, I will be sending three REST API calls to the ACI controller. Again, I will be using a stopwatch to time how long it takes to achieve the same connectivity between server one and server two. Okay, let's get started. Here we're gonna see that server one has IP address 10.1.1.100 and cannot ping server two which has IP address 10.1.1.102. We're also gonna see here that we've started the clock. Next, we're gonna build out our configuration in the GUI. Okay, at this point, we've finished building out the entire configuration within the GUI for basic connectivity between server one and server two. We've built fabric access policies and we've also built tenant policies to allow this connectivity. We've stopped the clock and we can see that the configuration took us a little over 12 minutes. We can also see that server one and server two now have connectivity. Now we are going to perform the same tasks. However, we're going to leverage Google Chrome's Postman client to automate the configuration using three API calls. The previous configurations have been removed and as you can see, server one can no longer ping server two. Once again, we will start the clock and let's see how long the same configuration tasks take us this time. What you are looking at are three pre-built REST API calls designed to provide all the necessary configurations for server one to server two connectivity. Each time I send the API call, the APIC instantiates the configuration onto the fabric infrastructure. You notice it takes me only 21 seconds to send all the necessary configuration to the APIC. As you can see, the APIC is now showing the configuration without me ever having logged into the GUI. A little over one minute, we can now see that in the background, server two is paying server one. So what took us more than 12 minutes of point and click through the GUI, took us only 21 seconds using REST API calls. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.